right. Uh, we, we talked about data governance and classification, and we're going to jump right into data discovery and where we're going. So obviously, uh, there's a lot of work that's gone into generating good documentation, generating good classification. To all that, in many ways, is to help discovery, right? So we are going to uh, add natural language search capabilities to the search bar so that you can just ask questions like you would normally ask people. Um, and that would extend over to Slack or wherever you are. So the idea is data discovery, summarization, automation uh, is all going to extend over from the application into uh, all the spaces that people are in. And what does that look like? Uh, obviously, uh, conversational experiences. So getting AI assistants, which are co-pilots directly inside the cloud UI, where you can essentially have a conversation, ask it questions. It's going to be context aware based on where you are. So you can, um, if you're perhaps on a uh, table, you're, you're asked, you can ask further questions about the table. If you're on the dashboard, you can ask questions about it. Or if you're on a global page, you can ask global questions. Uh, so that's where the future of um, Gen AI in the Data Hub uh, Cloud product is going. But um, we think about it, obviously, we are builders uh, and we are um, people who think about how to build these systems and open them up uh, for the entire world. And so we think about it in terms of layers. If you think about Data Hub, it's got a raw metadata model. These are all the things we talked about today, data sets and dashboards and reports and models. But above that, uh, you can think about the GraphQL layer as being like a semantic layer. Uh, it essentially understands at a higher level uh, what a data set is and how it relates to other concepts. And what we want to enable really is conversational interfaces to all of this metadata, which could be for a data consumer persona uh, who is asking questions about what data sets they should be using and you know making operations on top of those uh, assets, or a data governance persona who is perhaps looking for governance policies that they should be setting in their Data Hub Cloud product, or you know maybe even uploading a PDF for data registry guidelines and then just asking for suggestions for how they could be monitoring these um, uh, uh, policies. Uh, and this is why, where we see the future of metadata and the platform going, and we want it to be open. So the platform is obviously open source, and all of the APIs are open, and we want it to be open for uh, AI development as well. What does that look like? Uh, we're planning to open source a framework for generative AI, and that looks like essentially all of the capabilities that you saw Harshal and uh, John demo today are really built on top of certain foundational uh, capabilities, the ability to uh, understand what data you need or what metadata you need to answer a question, uh, the ability to understand what prompts uh, are working well, what prompts results are looking like, and then being able to record them, um, being able to use both manual reviews as well as LLMs to judge those results, and then finally having the ability to either on-demand generate those uh, outcomes or to be able to generate them on bulk. So the goal really is to enable the community to actually tinker around and build very interesting applications on top of this. Uh, we will open source kind of the basic framework for it with some starter prompts, and then you can go to town with it, uh, connect it up to your favorite LLM endpoints and just um, uh, let us know which ones are working and make this thing better for everyone else. So that's where uh, all of this is going. And of course, you know, I like to tinker around as well. And so I've been playing around with uh, something like this to build kind of a conversational bot and uh, happy to see, happy to kind of share it with you all. It's very fresh um, and very uh, new. So, so be gentle, but let's see. Can everyone see my terminal? All yes, right. We can. So I just created a small command line app called Data Hub Ask. And we're going to ask it some questions. All right. Well, that's got an interesting name. Uh, let's ask it what can it do for us? And you. All right, it can help me find stuff, give me details, lineage, usage. Well, I am a data scientist. 
looking for tables for analysis of pets. Because you know, I joined this company called Longtail Companions. Um, and I'm I've been asked to do some analysis on pets data. All right, it's looking for some pet stables. This sounds promising. And it found some in Snowflake. Cool. Yeah, tell me more. That second one looks interesting, pet profiles. Tell me more about the second one. All right, some more details coming through. It is suggesting that I, you know, to learn about the schema or the usage. I'm actually interested in lineage. Um, can you help me understand its lineage? All right, some upstreams, Airflow jobs, MongoDB, S3, and some downstreams, including some charts and dashboards. So let's let's uh, make sure to come back to that dashboard later, but you know, I wanna take it up on its offer to help me understand its schema. Uh, show me the schema for this table, the descriptions. So it knows what we're talking about, you know, the pet profiles table. Get back with the schema. Show me some, you know, we're gonna go at it for an hour, right? So show me some sample queries that can uncover interesting insights you know why think about it if i'm a data scientist you know let me let me get it to suggest something first before i start doing my work All right, came back with some good suggestions. Pets older than 10 years, top temperaments, percentage of pets that are spayed or neutered. Yeah, looks pretty reasonable. But remember Gabe's pet report? I'm wondering, maybe someone's already computed some of this stuff. Tell me more about Gabe's pet report. Let's see if it can figure it out. <laughs> I don't know if Gabe is around. He must be very nervous right now. All right. It is a dashboard in mode, provides insights. Huh, maybe I can use it. I already have an external URL right here. What happens if I click it? Um, what visualizations does it have? Trick question. Let's see, can it figure it out? Hmm. I was able to tell me about certain charts that exist and what those visualize. Cool. Let's go click it and see if it actually gets me to the right spot. It does. It does. So from my command line, without even knowing that there is some UI called Data Hub that my organization has bought, I can find stuff, I can discover stuff, and then I can go straight up into uh, a pet report. Oh no, Swarup has a question. This can only mean bad, bad things. Go ahead, Swarup. 
Sorry, that was an accidental hand raise. Okay. <laughs> All right, so so that's it. I mean, this is cool. Uh, I loved tinkering with this thing and uh, building, you know, this uh, application. And uh, once we uh, open the framework out to the community, um, looking forward to hearing what you guys uh, will build with it.